is an informative video concerning the entity seek. Please follow this video tape to gain as much information as possible about the entity. Seek is a humanoid creature with human-like parts, these include arms and legs. The entity has one eye and it can see using it. The entity's speed is slightly faster than humans, and it will instantly kill you, if it comes in contact with you. Seek can appear between the levels 30 to 40, and again between the levels 80 to 90. It appears once a player or a group of players go past a long hallway and approach the exit to the hallway. Signs of approached contact with the entity include, black eyes appearing on the walls of rooms, lighting sabotage, and hearing clicking noises. In order to counter seek, follow the following instructions. Obstacles will appear in front of you. The obstacles have crawl spaces for players to go through, and you will be able to go past each obstacle as long as you choose the correct crawl space. After passing through the obstacles, you will encounter a roundabout room. The room contains three doors, but only one of them is real. Players need to look both ways quickly to see which door is real. If neither of the doors contain signs, then the door ahead is the real one. After successfully making it through the previous obstacles, a new hallway of obstacles appears. The obstacles in this hallway include burning chandlers, long hands, and bookshelves. Avoid all obstacles in order to reach the door safely. Do not stop running no matter what happens. If a player stops running, the entity seek will catch up and eliminate the player. Thank you for watching this informative video. Have a great run and don't buy. This is an informative video concerning the entity ambush. Please follow this video tape to gain as much information as possible about the entity. Ambush is a ghost looking entity with two hollow black eyes and a beast mouth filled with razor blade teeth. Ambush's speed is extremely fast and no human is able to outrun it. The entity is able to instantly kill any player upon physical contact. The entity ambush is distinguished with its radioactive greenish color and its glitchy scream. The entity could appear in any room. In order to acknowledge its presence, players will witness quick lighting flickering and distant screaming upon entering a room. If players have witnessed any of the previous signs, seek any hiding spot immediately and enter it. After a few seconds, ambush will quickly roam inside the room killing anyone that's not hiding instantly. Please repeat the same process until ambush stops appearing. Ambush appears in a room between two to six times in a row, after the initial signs appear. Ambush will also destroy all the lights inside the room, after the first roaming. So having a light source such as a lighter or a flashlight is advised. Please do not be confused between the entities ambush and rush, as they are roughly the same entities with a slight difference. Thank you for watching this informative video. Have a great run and don't buy. This is an informative video concerning the entity Screech. Please follow this video tape to gain as much information as possible about the entity. Screech is a spherical creature with several tentacles and glowing eyes. It also has a wide mouth filled with enlarged human-like teeth. The entity is able to hover in a stable position above the ground, and it is able to inflict major injuries to players. Screech appears in natural dark rooms. Its appearance isn't expected and could happen at any time. Screech appears anywhere around players and stays passive until the signs of attack appear. Signs of approached attack include Staying in dark rooms for a long period of time Hearing a mimicked calling noise and feeling strangely watched. If a player experiences any of the previous signs Quickly look around your environment and find the entity and look at it directly. If you are successful, Screech will scream and leave the area immediately. However, if it's a failure, Screech will proceed to bite the player dealing significant damage to it. It is advised to obtain a light source, as it significantly decreases the chance of Screech appearing in dark rooms. It is also advised to stay in dark rooms for the least amount of time possible. Please note that the entity may be present with no signs of attack necessary, so players are advised to look around them constantly. Thank you for watching this informative video. Have a great run and don't buy.
this is an informative video concerning the entity the figure. Please follow this videotape to gain as much information as possible about the entity. The figure is a humanoid entity with impossible human characteristics, which include long limbs. The entity also has a head composed of a circular mouth filled with razor-sharp teeth. The entity is not able to see. However its other senses are widely enhanced. These include hearing and vibration sensitivity. The figure is also able to instantly kill any human upon physical contact. The entity is guaranteed to appear in both the levels 50 and 100 considered to be a boss entity. If players have reached level 50, follow the following instructions to pass the level safely. Players are required to search in bookshelves for books in order to decode the code and open the lock to the next room. Each book found holds a certain shape, and each shape corresponds to a certain number. After the players have found the books, they must search for a paper which holds the order in which numbers should be put in order to open the lock. Players are then required to open the lock to the next room and successfully pass the previous level. If you ever need to hide in a closet, players must control their heartbeats by playing a minigame. Players are advised to keep quiet at all times and to stay away from the entity. Thank you for watching this informative video. Have a great run and don't buy. This is a continuation of the previous informative video about the entity the figure. Please follow this video tape to gain as much information left as possible about the entity. After players have reached the level 100, they must quickly run away and hide from the figure. Please note that the Heartbeat minigame is guaranteed to be experienced by the players, as the figure will be extremely close to the hiding spot. After a few seconds, players must leave the hiding spot and go upstairs. They then must take a key from the out-of-service elevator and open the security room in the first floor. Players must then open the fuse box and try to charge it up by playing a mini i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i i After the players have charged the fuse box, they must reach for the elevator and turn it on. In the current circumstances, nobody knows what happens next, however the elevator seems to be going downwards. Thank you for watching this informative video. Have a great run and don't buy. This is an informative video concerning the entity the eyes. Please follow this video tape to gain as much information as possible about the entity. The eyes is a floating entity, with several eyes stuck together to shape an even bigger eye. The eyes emit a certain whispering voice which is thought to be curses. They also emit a fluorescent violet bluish color that is emitted at all times. The entity is able to inflict continuous rapid damage to players and is also able to hover above the ground in a stable position. The entity could appear in any room and its appearance could be sudden. Signs of approached encounter with the entity include observing violet bluish colors in the next room, hearing distant whispering and feeling the sudden urge to look in a certain direction violently. No matter what happens, avoid eye contact with the entity at all costs. Players are instead advised to look down or in the opposite direction of the eyes. The entity will proceed to leave immediately up. Please note that the eyes will be facing your direction at all times, and will instantly start inflicting damage to you upon looking at it. Thank you for watching this informative video. Have a great run and don't buy. This is an informative video concerning the entity halt. Please follow this video tape to gain as much information as possible about the entity. 
Hulk is a cylindrical entity, with dark green colored appearance and two glaring eyes. The entity's speed is roughly equal to the player's, and it is able to inflict major damage to players upon physical contact. The entity is also able to teleport from a location to another instantly. The entity has a rare chance to appear throughout the levels, and its appearance is all. Approached encounter with the entity include Lighting sabotage with no previous trigger such as ambush or rush Hearing odd voices from a distance, and entering a greenish room If players have experienced any of the previous signs Be prepared for the encounter and follow the following instructions The entity will appear in front of the player and proceed to approach it Players must continue their way until a screen flash is experienced once this happens, players are required to face the opposite direction and proceed to walk forward. The screen will flash multiple times and players must repeat the same process until they safely enter the next room. The entity will always try to approach the player at all times. And it will take away 60% of the player's health upon physical contact. Please note that, after players have successfully finished the encounter, they are free to loot the previous room safely. Thank you for watching this informative video. Have a great run and don't buy. This is an informative video concerning the entity glitch. Please follow this video tape to gain as much information as possible about the entity. Glitch is a human-like entity, with double the height of an average human. The entity's appearance is composed of a dark violet colored spectrum and many tiny floating particles. The entity's speed is extremely supernatural, and it is able to inflict major damage to players upon physical contact. The entity is almost always related to player groups, and rarely appears when there's only one player. The entity appears once a player is located far behind its teammates by at least five rooms. In which case the entity will appear in a fraction of a second in front of the player taking away 40% of its health and instantly teleporting it into the player group. It is greatly advised to stay close to your teammates at all times, and to not get far away from them. There is also a minor chance in which the entity appears suddenly upon entering a room. However in that case it does not deal damage to anyone, and it is believed to be happening due to room generation failure. The entity is believed to be an aftermath of the You are always in danger. You are always in danger. You are all He will do the same thing once again, if you're far away from your player group. Thank you for watching this informative video. Have a great run and don't buy. Is an informative video concerning the entity hide. Please follow this video tape to gain as much information as possible about the entity. Currently, there is no physical appearance available for this entity, and there are no reports concerning its shape or physique. The entity is present in almost all hiding spots, and it appears once a player has been hidden inside of a hiding spot for extended periods of time. Once a player has been inside of a hiding spot for a long time, the entity will proceed to warn the player by several warning signs. These include severe hallucinations, flashing text and exotic voices. It is advised to enter a hiding spot only when necessary, and to not stay hidden for long periods of time. If players don't exit the hiding spot immediately, the entity will proceed to kick the player out, taking away 40% of its health and temporarily stopping it from hiding once again. For the sake of psychological studies, closets have shown Please note that the entity will not be present in both the levels 50 and 100. However it is present in all the other levels. Thank you for watching this informative video. Have a great run and don't buy. This is an informative video concerning the entity guiding light. 
please follow this videotape to gain as much information as possible about the entity. Guiding light appears to be floating green bluish particles that can float in certain areas. It also appears in the subconsciousness of deceased people. The entity is able to slightly light up an area with its bluish colors, and it is also able to talk with the deceased. Guiding light is a friendly entity that works in different situations. These include guiding players throughout dark rooms, lighting up compatible passages in Seek's chase, and giving hints to deceased players that concern hostile entity encounter. The most common presence of the entity is in dark rooms, and it goes like the following. If players are unable to find a key in a dark room, the entity will light up the key's surroundings, making it easier for players to find. It will also light up the exit to the room if players get lost in the dark. Experimental studies have come with the conclusion that guiding law. Protect her loved ones from it. Protect her loved ones from it. Protect. Note that the entity only provides light to players and does not protect players from other entities. Thank you for watching this informative video. Have a great run and don't die. Is an informative video concerning both the entities Timothy and Jack. Please follow this video tape to gain as much information as possible about the entity. Timothy is an entity that resembles a tarantula, with characteristics similar to a normal spider. The entity has minor effects overall and is able to inflict extremely negligible damage to humans compared to other entities. The entity has a very rare chance of appearing, and it may appear in a drawer once a player opens it. If the drawer is containing the entity, Timothy will proceed to jump on the player in an attempt to jump scare them. To this day, there are no reports concerning casualties caused by the entity, and it is not possible yet to get killed by it. Jack is a two-dimensional entity, with half of its appearance being infested by darkness. The entity is harmless and deals no damage to players whatsoever. The entity also has a very rare chance of appearance, and it appears once a player attempts to hide inside of a wardrobe. The entity will proceed to jump scare and stop the players from hiding for a brief second, before closing the wardrobe and disappearing. Please note that the entity will not be present in a room that has triggered the entity's rush or ambush. So if advised to advance into the following room before hiding in a closet. As Jack may appear in those closets, leading to players getting killed by the previously mentioned entities. Thank you for watching this informative video. Have a great run and don't die. This is an informative video to train the entity rush. Please follow up with this video tape to acquire the necessary information about this entity. Rush is a two-dimensional entity with an almost circular face that is composed of two hollow black eyes and a really wide mouth filled with big human-like teeth. These teeth can inflict severe or lethal injuries to humans. The entity itself is extremely fast compared to humans and other entities and it is able to instantly kill anyone upon physical contact. The entity also has the ability of emitting really loud screaming noises, which is one of the signs that one player is about imminent encounter with the entity. The entity's appearance is often sudden and unexpected. However, it comes with a few signs that one player is of its close appearance. These signs include light and flickering, audible clicking noises and hearing weird distant screams. If players witness any of the previously mentioned signs, they are required to look for a hiding spot. The compatible hiding spots for players to hide in include wardrobe, beds, ventilation passages and corners that are untouchable by the entity. After the initial signs appear, Rush will proceed to run in the previous and current rooms instantly killing anyone that's not hiding and completely destroying all the lights in the previous rooms. 
something to note about the entity's presence is that it only appears in normal rooms. This excludes natural dark rooms and boss rooms such as levels 50, 70 and 100, as it is not possible for the entity to appear in those rooms. Anomalous phenomenon observed in these rooms come to conclude that the that once the entity comes into contact with a player, it will instantly jump scare the player before eliminating it. And there are no methods known to this day that prove survivability against the event. Thank you for following up with this videotape. Have a great run and don't die.